Now today we're checking out one of the most beautiful classical pieces of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the Concierto de Aranguetz by Joaquin Rodrigo. I'm not Spanish, so hopefully I'm pronouncing the name correctly. We are checking out the Adagio, which is the second movement of this concert. Now, the reason why this concert is so important is because it helped establish the classical guitar as a legit concert instrument. I mean, the classical guitar is not a loud instrument, and so it was never considered a concert instrument, but of course, uh, Joaquin Rodrigo changed that. And what a beautiful, beautiful piece. Please be reasonable. I arranged the adagio on tenor ukulele. This is high G. Uh, tuning, so I had to change key and I had to simplify a few things, especially the chords. So we are really making it simple so that you can play it. Also, if you listen to the concert, you realize that the melody is played twice. The first time by the oboe, uh, which is a linear and easy melody. The second time is played again uh, by the guitar. This is when things get a little bit more challenging uh, since there are way more embellishments added to the melody. Uh, we'll take a look at the simplified version and then I'll show you how to add more notes to the main melody. Now grab your ukulele, learn it with me, I'm gonna make it super simple. Um, we are changing the key, we are playing it in G minor. And you can start by simply strumming the G minor chord, two, two, one, and zero, four times. I strum with the flashy side of the thumb so I get this, you know, lovely uh, warm sound. Now the melody. So the first chord is a D minor, we are just playing the uh, bass note, so the third string fret number two, and the melody is on the first string, then the uh, second string fret three, and the first open string again. Just three notes. Then the D minor chord again, twice, with a strum. Now the melody, first string, two notes, zero and one, this is when we switch to a C major chord. Uh, you can use the first finger, so it's zero, 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 and three. And then we have the melody. Be careful here, we have fret five with a pull off to fret three, fret number one, and back to the D minor chord. Same melody, always the third string, fret number two, and the first open string, then the uh, second string, fret three, and first open string. D minor chord twice with a strum. So when you put this section together, um, it sounds like this. Now, we go back to the melodies on the first string. I'm playing fret zero, one, and three, then five, and seven. Try to be as expressive as possible. Now we change chord, uh, G minor chord. So we start with a G sus four, so it's zero, two, three, and three, because the melody is on fret three. So just a, a light strum, then fret number one, twice, then the first open string, and we strum the chord again with the first open string. Then second string, fret number three, one, and three. Then we have the Third string for number two, and the melody. Now in this case we are playing third string for number two, and then the melody on the first open string. Second string for number one, zero, 
and then a B flat major chord, uh, just three strings. Fret number three, fret number two, and fret number one. And we strum all the way to the second string. So we don't strum the first string. So the melody is on the second string, fret number one. Now fret number three, zero, and the third string, fret number two. So be careful with this section between G minor and B flat major. Now, let's change chord A major. We strum the chord twice. So the A major chord is played with two, uh, one, and zero and zero. However, um, we strum all the way up to the second string twice, and then the melody is on the second string fret number one, zero, and the third string fret number two. We strum the chord again, A major, and then the melody on the second string uh, open, fret number one, and we change chord, it's still an A chord, but we're playing an A7 chord. Beautiful. Sounding chord is zero, one, and three. Again, we strum all the way up to the second string, we don't strum the first string. So the melody is on the second string, fret number three. Three times. One, two, three. Fret one, zero. And then um, so we have a, a beautiful D sus two, which is two, two, and zero. Then the third string fret two, a D minor chord. So we put down the second string fret number one. Strum three strings only. Then strum the um, D sus two again. And strum just two strings, fourth and third. Now take a moment to listen to the instrumental as well. It's probably the best way to memorize this. Uh, now, we should repeat this melody again, which is the guitar part, uh, but I'll show it to you in a moment. Let me show you the second section played with the oboe, so we keep things uh, simple. Beautiful second section. I love it. It's just heartbreaking. Um, we made it simple. <laughs> Hopefully, it's simple uh, for you. We open up with the B flat major chord, and there are two different ways to do that. If you want the chord to be fuller, you play it like this. You got um, three, five, nothing, and five. So the melody is on the first string, fret number five. You can arpeggiate the chord, 
and then play the melody from five to three and back to five. But you kind of have to hold the chord, so. So I like to use the second finger on the fret three. It's quite challenging. You can simplify it in two different ways. You either just get rid of the third string and you just do three and five. So three and five, three on the first string and five again. Or you can play the third string for number five. Uh, the melody is still the same, we're just changing the bass. Now after that you play the chord, just a simple triad, just like a G major chord played on fret 5, so it's 5, 6 and 5. I strum the chord lightly, twice, and then the melody. Now it's on fret 5, 7, 8, and then 10, to eight with a pull off and back to fret number seven. Be careful with this section, it's not the most simple thing to play. Now, A minor. So, uh, two, zero, zero, and three, then fret number one, and fret number three for the melody, and then the chord twice again. Now the melody, we have seven, five, three, one, and three. G minor chord, Now, we're playing this triad, it's fret number five, six, and seven. We strum the chord with the fourth open string. And then the melody is three, one, and zero. And then we strum the G minor again with zero, two, three, and one. And then the melody, which is zero on the first string, Fret number three on the second string, one. And we can strum the chord again, just the fourth, third, and second string, zero, two, and three. Now we have the melody. So, one and three, first open, and one. And back to the D minor chord with the melody, just put down the chord without the fourth string, and then second string for number three, one, three, and D minor again. Third string for number two, and we finish with the A major chord. So zero, one, and zero. Melody on the second string, fret number one and three. And then we have the chord. And the melody again, fret number one, zero. And D sus two, melody, D minor, D sus two. And just the fourth and third string. So those are the two sections played with the oboe. Um, if you want to spice it up, you can play the melody twice. The first time is basically what you just learned. But then the second time you can add more to the melody. For example... Um, so for the first chord, the D minor, you could add the first string fret number one a pull off and the second string fret number three. So for example, in this case, instead of strumming the chord twice, like we did 
for the oboe section, uh, we don't strum the chords, we play those notes. So. And you can uh, give it a little bit more emphasis. I'm just trying to keep it quite simple. Uh, for the C major, we can uh, play the fret 7 with a pull off to fret 3 and back to the D minor. For the G minor and B flat major, we keep it the same. But we can add more notes on the uh, A major chord. Uh, which is basically the same thing uh, we did for the um, A minor chord. Um, so we play the chord and the melody, but then instead of strumming the chord, we can play the second string, fret number one, pull off, second open string, and the third string, fret number two. So we can add those notes. We finish with the chord and the melody. Now we can do the same thing for the second section. And as you can see, the structure is always the same. We play the melody, and instead of strumming the chord, we add uh, more notes. So it's seven, five, and three. And I do a, a pull off between seven and five. Then the melody. Now we can do the same thing for the um, A minor chord. Now the uh, notes are three, uh, five, three, and one. You can finish with the chord and then. We keep it the same. Now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that this is an arrangement for a tenor ukulele, so we had to change a few things. Um, I wish we could play it just like uh, it's played on the guitar, but we don't have the same tuning and we don't have the same number of strings. But let me know if you like this tutorial. Keep it simple and start with the simple section. Enjoy this lesson and I'll see you next time.